If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified on every new upload. Assalamu alaikum. Let's study about the ante's law today. I don't know exactly how we pronounce this term ante. So for the convenience, I would be calling it auntie's law. So it would be easier for us to memorize and recall what was the auntie's law. Okay? So let's see what did she say. So the ante's law or the auntie's law states that the combined perisymmetrical area of the abutment teeth should be equal or greater to the perisymmetrical area of the tooth or the teeth to be replaced. So first of all we need to understand what is a abutment teeth. So the supporting teeth are called as abutment. So what do I mean by supporting teeth? For example, if this tooth was missing let's suppose this tooth is not here so now this teeth and this teeth will support the prosthesis which will come here means the artificial teeth which we'll place here it will be supported by this tooth here and this tooth here so these two are the abutment teeth because they are supporting the prosthesis Okay, so this law states that the combined perisymmetrical area of the abutment teeth, let's suppose this is the abutment teeth and this is the abutment teeth, so the combined perisymmetrical area of both these two should be equal or greater than the perisymmetrical area of the tooth or teeth that has to be replaced. Okay, so if one tooth is missing, if a single tooth is missing, it can be successfully replaced by the adjacent teeth okay but what if two teeth are missing for example if this teeth is also missing from here then now we have two edentulous spaces here and now this will become the abutment teeth okay now in this case also the missing teeth can be replaced by taking two adjacent teeth for support. Now what if this teeth was also missing? Let's see. Now we have three edentulous space and this is our abutment teeth and this also. Now in this case, the auntie's law states that if there are three missing teeth, they cannot be replaced by taking only two adjacent teeth for support. So I said one term, perisymmetrical area. What do we understand by that term? So we have a mathematical calculation which was given by Jepson and it calculated or it gave the average values of the root surface of the permanent teeth. So with this value which was given by Jepson, the root surface area of the missing teeth as well as that of the abutment could be calculated and a decision could be made as to the number of abutment required for supporting the pontex. Pontex are the artificial teeth we are placing there. So I'll give you a few examples of the values he gave. For example, if you are considering the maxillary teeth, so according to Jepson, the central incisor, the root surface area is 204. So you don't need to remember these values, but just for the sake of letting you know. And the lateral one is 179. So this is just, you know. Okay. So it has been proved that if the periodontal disease is treated or the periodontal health of the patient is quite maintained, then only one fourth of the support, which was told by auntie or auntie, is required. So this value which is quite on the safer side okay so the fixed partial denture can be successful with as little as one fourth of the support which was told by auntie's law so i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to comment subscribe and share thanks for watching Allah Hafiz.